Arcadia. We moved to Arcadia in uh, October of 1946. We had lived for a year in uh, the Dells, Oregon, and we decided that we didn't want that for a permanent living for the rest of our lives. So we moved back home, and we had the problem of finding a place to live. We had uh, three children, my wife and I, and uh, we made a bold move by buying a vacant lot in uh, Arcadia. It was uh, just type of an uh, area that we thought we would like to live in. It was a little lane. It had uh, several large trees on it, and we could visualize uh, a nice house there. What kind of trees were they? Uh, English walnut. Can you uh, say how those trees were planted then? Uh, it had been planted as a commercial grove back about uh, close to the 1900s. Uh, Wasn't that one of Lucky Baldwin's original uh, walnut grove? No, no, Lucky Baldwin was near nearby, but uh, it wasn't uh, part of his. Oh. But uh, nevertheless, we had uh, the job of erecting a, a large garage, 20 by 25 garage, and uh, we provided a rather small bathroom with a wash basin and a shower and a toilet. We had uh, plumbing put in for hot and cold water and for a sewer system and uh, hired uh, a contractor to pour the, to set the preliminary plumbing facilities and then another contractor to pour the cement. We had uh, a lot of lumber brought on the property he started in erecting the garage and the framing. And it was uh, right after the war. Materials were difficult to get, but uh, nevertheless, we did get enough materials to finish this garage. And uh, we sectioned it off so that we had a small bedroom and a living room and a kitchen and uh, bath facilities. It was very comfortable and it was going to be the home for us until our home was built. Can you remember some of the people who helped build the, the house? A friend that I knew that I worked with down at the Times, his name was Bob Griffith. When the forms all been erected, ready for pouring the cement, he came over and helped us to put uh, all of the cement in the right places. Then later on in the building process, another friend of ours by the name of Les Landing, he came in and did uh, a little bit of work for us, such as uh, helping with plumbing, helping with electrical, and helping us with installing doors and windows. Uh, aside from that, I did the major part of the rest of it. I was working at the Times, going to work at uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon and working until 12, and coming home and getting up about uh, 9 o'clock in the morning and had a little bite of breakfast. And I was, could hardly wait to get out there with a hammer and a saw and nails and work on that house. What, no power tools? No power tools right at that time. We started uh, the actual building of the house in the early part of 1947. By November of 1948, I had gone to work. I came home at the regular time, and I came around the corner, and uh, there was lights on in the house. Ellen and the two or three boys had moved their, their beds into the house. And from then on, we lived in that house, a total of 42 years. It was uh, the most satisfying place that we ever lived in.